final tutorial for today. Um, hopefully today. Well, not hopefully, but possibly. Um, we're just going to add a bit more detail to this. So first things first, I don't need this. Um, go into demo app and at the very bottom should say Android Manifest. Open up that. And uh, also res and then values and then strings.xml. You'll need both of these. So app name, we're going to call it volume control. And then the activity name will be um, volume settings. Just go ahead and name all these. Read me, and then here's the entire read me that you really don't need. Just delete that and say read this. Okay, save that. Don't need strings anymore. Go into demo app manifest. Um, just go 1.0 or change it to whatever you want. Um, whatever, just do whatever you want. Then go into application down at the bottom of this tab here. Uh, don't play with the name. Uh, yes, we're going to make a icon. So open up paint or whatever you use and let's do this. So let's see how big this is. 80 by 80 should work fine. Zoom in and we'll just create a very basic image. Try to make it the entire 80 by 80. It just looks better when you're actually uh, making the app they're putting the app on the Google Play thing. Anyway, it's just like a, a preference kind of thing. Just looks better. I just figured this is a quick way to draw a speaker. probably gonna look really really bad but whatever this is just a demo so I'm gonna select the entire thing great move it over make some yeah, the speaker's on. Woo. Yeah, and then just whatever. Leave it the same color. Do whatever you want with it. I guess I'll just paint it brown. Take too long on this. Okay. So that is that uh, file save as speaker.png and then I like to use GIMP for the rest of the work. So file open, um, what would I call it? Speaker, no. Go to desktop, speaker, and go layer. Transparency, add that. Tools, selection tools, fuzzy tool. Select the white space. I guess we have to do this one by one. Uh, edit, clear, edit, clear. Uh, 
Alright, that's that. File and then export as um, PNG replace export and then don't need to save this. Minimize this. Go uh, I believe it's icon. We'll go create new icon. We'll call it um, icon view. Speaker. Oh, can't have capitals. Speaker icon image. Speaker open uh, none. Actually, I uh, use this to make it bigger as compared to the outside boundaries of the square. So just kind of adjust it to how big it is, if you get what I'm saying. And then make sure there's no background. Finish. Good to go. OK. And then the logo, do the exact same thing. Uh, I believe it's in drawable. Speaker icon. And you're good to go with the manifest.xml. Uh, the next thing is creating a uh, icon for your smartwatch. So the icon process would be the same thing. Actually, it's just a lot easier to do this. Um, open your GIMP, open speaker, and then image scale image and then go 48 by 48 it's 48 by 48 and then go scale and so there's your icon and what you're going to want to do is go into your demo app folder or whatever you called it symbol control extension uh, res drawable and then icon extension 48 first of all sorry export as uh, Speaker icon 48. Just so you know what it is. Export, exit, discard changes, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, icon extension 48. You can go ahead and delete that one. And then this one will be here. And just go ahead. Icon underscore extension 48. And uh, that will show up on the smartwatch itself. But first of all, you need to go into your settings on your Android device. Go apps and then go all. And then find the one that's called the one that you, or sorry, it'll be called sample extension. First of all, because we just renamed it now. So uninstall that and then reinstall it. And you should be good to go. I'm just going to pause this and do that right now. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I just installed it on my smartwatch and it works perfectly. Uh, you have both logos, the one installing and then the one that shows up on the home page of your smartwatch. And they both work perfectly fine. So that's that for logo manifest and like renaming everything, making sure it, it's customized to what you want it to be. Um, next thing is just making the app itself look pretty kind of thing. You can also add pictures and you can do that by going into the XML. Uh, graphical layout is just a lot easier for me. Go and drag an image view, just put it somewhere, and uh, create a new icon. It's just the exact same process. Call it like uh, speaker and then uh, an image, right? And then you just go speaker.png. Can't remember how big this is. Honestly, don't remember. And you know, just make it as big as it can before looking faded or just like ugly kind of thing. My speaker looks disgusting. This is nasty. That's so stupid. Anyway, there's that. And uh, yeah, so then when you have an image there, right, volume, a, a speaker with a lot of lines coming out of it for like loud volume and then one with low 
uh, like little lines coming out of it for low volume. Anyway, uh, like yeah, you can make them buttons. So how to do that is to go down here to where it says image view and it's a uh, speaker, yeah. You just go Android clickable equals true. Okay, and then uh, basically just do the same process again except image view like one, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to create all these uh, images. It's just, it's crazy if I do that because I'm not an artist. I can't draw for anything. So I'll leave it to you guys to customize your app with images, buttons. Also, you don't have to just use image view. You can use button image view, which is a lot nicer looking for a button, image button, because it puts like a border around it and makes the 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 person who uh, uses the app know that you can actually click it. So that's that for this tutorial. Once again, I'll have another one up soon. But uh, yeah, basically. Um, you can do whatever you want with the smartwatch as long as you know how. And I just kind of gave you the lowdown on how to, you know, uh, control your Android through your smartwatch via via volume, right? So, thanks for watching again, and I'll put another tutorial up for another app very soon. That's it. Goodbye.